uh, we met originally through Instagram, didn't we? We did, yeah. I, um, my episode of Married at First Sight was just about to air. And yeah, I messaged you with a voice note, didn't I? It was the night before your um, wedding was on TV. Yeah. And you uh, left me a voice note um, just asking me what goes down with it. Yeah, pretty much. Just jumping in asking what to expect, weren't yeah. I? Yeah. And then we started sending voice notes from there, didn't we? So it wasn't like texting each other all the time. It was more, to start off with, it was more voice notes backwards and forwards. And that's how we became friends. Yeah. And then I was going on, going on holiday. Um, I needed to get away. I'd just done the London Marathon. Um, so I mentioned to Matt that I was going on holiday, obviously not initiating anything. And then he said, well, why don't I come with you? <laughs> Not how it happened. Yes, you did. I didn't say, oh, you're coming on holiday with me. make it sound like it was booked. No, but all I'm saying is we, <laughs> we didn't... booked it together. Yeah, we did book it together, but I'm talking about how we came up with the idea of <laughs> you coming with me. So we got together after we got back from Turkey, didn't we? Like, we just kind of progressed naturally. Mm -hmm. Started off as a friendship, and then once we got back from Turkey, we decided, actually, this is something that we want to give a go. So uh, the moment that changed for me from a friendship level to, like, a romantic level with Matt was... Coming back from Turkey and just how, how love, what a lovely time we'd had together, but also how much you were just such a nice support. Like I was having a bit of a hard time. I think my kids were misbehaving at home and I was on and off the phone to their dad at the airport and Matt was just completely like, just calm down, it's absolutely fine. Like um, everything's okay. And he just calmed me down and I realized that actually I'm quite like into him. I definitely figured it out in Turkey. Did um, you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what? of course I did. Just as we were pottering around, like especially by the pool as well. Just everything just came quite natural, mm. quite yeah. easy. There's been no, there's been no forcing of anything. <clears throat> Nothing's ever felt like hard work. Yeah, so we've not moved in together, but we live quite close together, don't we? Mm -hmm. So it's quite easy for us to spend time together. So we've got a date night on a Wednesday night, and then we spend most weekends together. So we're always... Yeah, you're like, what are you, an hour and a half away or something? We're that. both in Yorkshire. Yeah, if that. We're very different with date night, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we, we switch active. date nights up. <laughs> Matt's very active and I'm more like romantic, like let's stay in and chill. Yeah. And Matt's more like, let's go out and do some activities. But it's good because it blends well together. You know, it's like 50-50 yeah. and it's nice, yeah. Have we said the R word, Matt? I don't know, what did you say last night? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Um, so yes, we have said the L word uh, a few weeks ago now. I think I was the one to drop it first. Um, yeah, and then Matt followed on straight away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't leave her hanging. There was no like, I love you. Uh, no, 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 it was there. Yeah, definitely there. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a few conversations about kids because obviously I haven't got any kids and it's something that I do want in my life. And for us to progress as a couple, we both need to be on the same page. Yeah, of course. So it's a conversation we've had about children where yeah, we're in no rush to have children, but we both know it's something on the cards in the future. Yeah, I think um, obviously I've got two teenagers. Matt hasn't got any children, and obviously for us to work, you obviously want children. So, and I'm kind of broody quite a lot of the time. So, I think <laughs> it might happen sooner rather than later, but not too soon. So, I think originally um, from at the very beginning, you made the first move, didn't you, Matt? I absolutely did make yeah. the first move. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that date that we went on that you didn't know was a date, but I did. Yeah. So he asked. He asked me. <laughs> He asked me out for dinner. Um, he was like, oh, what are you doing tomorrow night? And I was like, nothing. And he was like, why don't we go out for dinner? I was like, yeah, okay. So I was like, you know, it was all very casual to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it so was that very was a, casual to that me. That was kind well, of our know. first date, yeah, didn't absolutely, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And we just literally sat, had dinner. Went to I'll never forget that, actually, because I tore my groin, hadn't I? And every time I stood up, I nearly fell over. Slightly <laughs> nearly embarrassing. Fell on, nearly fell onto me. <laughs> well, yeah, in the middle spilt, of a restaurant. I spilt an espresso martini everywhere and everything, just trying to go to the toilet. And, uh, in pain. <laughs> No, we didn't. We didn't no. keep it under wraps. The people thought we had, but we were initially just friends, and it did literally progress from being friends and blossomed. So we did start off completely, you know, on a friend level. Um, but yeah, people thought that we were keeping something under wraps when we actually weren't. Yeah, and then there, when, was, there was a lot of talking going yeah. on behind. Everybody was always going on about like, oh, Matt and Marilee are together, and they oh, I thought you two weren't a couple. I was like, look, you have you have all known about us the second we knew yeah, about exactly. us. Yeah, exactly. There was no difference. Yeah, it was it was at the same speed, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, we definitely got with each other's families. Um, my release came down to meet my mum. I've been down to meet my release's mum. I've been down to meet. We've seen them a few times, haven't we? Yeah. 
Um, we've had a few drinks with my brother. Yeah, well, um, we had Christmas, Christmas Day with my mum's. And then Boxing Day with my family. Yeah. And I feel so comfortable around Matt's family as well, which is massive for me, because like in the past I've always felt quite awkward around boyfriend's families. Yeah. You know, that when they make you feel uncomfortable, but his family really do make me feel like... Do you want a cup of tea, love? Welcome, yeah. <laughs> and they're just lovely, they're so down to earth and so adorable. Yeah, I always feel quite emotional when I leave your family. Um, I've only kept in touch with Jonathan, really, from my series. Um, no particular reason. It's just the one person that I get on with. Uh, you've kept in touch with a few people from yours, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm very much in touch with um, Matt, Matt Jameson, um, Amy Christophers, Luke Dawson, and I even speak to Frankie on occasions as well, which is nice. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know how anyone from Marilisa's side from your series reacted, but from my series, like I say, there's only one person who I speak to and would ever have a minute to listen to their opinion on it, mm. um, which Tom was a really good feedback. Thomas really is always, always very nice, isn't he? Um, to start with, I definitely had trolls. I definitely had people who had their two pence to say um, once the show had finished. But then now, absolutely nothing. Um, and I think at the time as well, you just kind of learn to ignore the noise. Um, but no, no, there's been nothing that's come through to me that's been so negative that it's affected me in a long-term way. I don't regret anything about the show whatsoever because uh, we wouldn't be here now, would we? If we never did the show, <laughs> that's your answer. You I know it is my answer, yeah. I've taken that's my answer. answer to everything. You've done that twice during this, actually. Two <laughs> things. Because you rub off on me. <laughs> um, no, I don't regret I never have regretted anything. I enjoyed every second of it, apart from maybe a few moments from time to time, but no regrets whatsoever. Matt's proposing on Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 <I'm joking. laughs> proposing that you pay for tea, maybe. <laughs> no, we've just we've just booked a nice local restaurant for Valentine's Day. Um, oh, you did book Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, you told I like me about to that. be I like to be organised and prepared, and I, I know am what it's not that prepared. I know what it's like when you leave it last minute and all the tables are gone and you have to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to our future because I think that we've got a lot between us. We we really gel together. We worked. We're a good team, aren't we? We work together really well, and we I do things with Matt that I've never done with any boyfriends like go to the gym with and never ever have been to the gym with a boyfriend I do before. love our gym sessions. And um, not just that, obviously, loads That's of things. It, yeah, like yeah. we both are obsessed with our dogs, um, just family as well. We've got like so many same qualities and morals and things that I just, I think that we've got a lot to give as well, future wise. I don't want to go on loads of holidays. <laughs> <laughs> holidays and traveling and he, he keeps me active as well, like he, he gets me to do things like rock climbing, which I've never ever even think about doing. I didn't even know what it was, you know. Can we just state for the record, she even cut her nails down I did, to go I... rock climbing for the second time because we she'd did. have more grip. No, you cut them down. I, I cut them down, actually. I, I, cut, I clipped the nails off. These ones are new. Yeah. These ones are all fresh. <laughs> Sat there clipping them off, didn't I? Yeah.